What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Mr. The Baboon back with a reaction video. This time we have the top 10 most anticipated PS5 games of 2024. So, <clears throat> we gonna react to this. Link in the video will be down below in the description if you guys want to check it out. You guys can. Ooh, with that being said, let's go get into this reaction. We got this one to do, and then we got another reaction to do. And then I got a stream today. So, welcome to Mojo Plays. <clears throat> and today we're taking a look at the games to get excited for in 2024. Do note, we are looking at games with release windows, or you can safely bet are arriving before the end of the year. So, don't expect Marvel's Wolverine. Yeah. And who knows what's yeah. going on with Stellar Blade at this point. It, it was supposed to come out 2023. I, I do wish the Wolverine game didn't get all the shit with the hackers and the leakers and all that shit. Where they, like, took it and then they're trying to charge, you know, Rockstar and all that shit to get it back. And then they turn out they released some of the gameplay. I stay away from that shit. I haven't seen it. Personally, you guys might have. I have it. I'm not going to watch it in support for the, you know, the people who work on the game and everything, you know what I mean? But, I mean, it's just crazy. But, I mean, I, I really do wish that game was coming to Xbox as well. Sally, I don't think it is. But yeah, it's all good. Now it may not. I never knows? heard of this game, so I don't know what that is. And we publish new videos all week long. So be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Pacific Drive. Locations impacting enemy sectors. Your mission: drive towards a mysterious beam of light and hope that your car gets you there in one piece. Your survival in Pacific Drive will depend on how your car endures against harsh environments and various encounters. Surprisingly, Pacific Drive is one of few indie games that won't be available on multiple platforms initially, only PC and PS5. At the time of this video, no release date has been given, but developer Ironwood Studios expects to release the game sometime in early 2024 after delaying it from its original 2023 release. Now, I will say, so far that game, if that game will come to like Xbox on like Game Pass, i definitely play it. I could definitely find myself playing a little bit of this on stream. I think that would be fun. Swindell. Armed personnel are expected to follow strict protocol. Remember, personal methods of creative expression are highly encouraged so long as it does not interfere with official equipment. Arda is not liable for any injuries or death suffered as a result. Like a dragon, infinite wealth. Bask in the tropical sun. Take in the ocean breeze and join Ichiban as he explores paradise on a mission to find his mother. The Yakuza franchise took an interesting turn with 2019's Like a Dragon, whose title would replace the franchise's name. If you were a fan of that game's turn-based combat, then you're probably already pumped for infinite wealth. What is perhaps the most exciting aspect of this entry is the change in scenery. Rather than set another entry in Kamurocho, Yokohama, or any other location in Japan, fictional or otherwise, Ichiban has found himself in tropical Honolulu, Hawaii. This will be the first time the franchise has ever stepped foot in America for its setting, and the first time it has gone outside of Japan. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth releases January 26, 2024. Black Myth Wukong. I mean, some of these games really good though. Sadly, they're not on Xbox though. But I mean, some of these games are really good. Ah. <coughs> in case you still haven't gotten your fill of Souls-like games, well, in comes Black Myth: Wukong. First revealed way back in August 2020, the game has been under development for quite some time now by Chinese developer Game Science. Though the team is fairly new to mainstream audiences, Black Myth is not their first rodeo. The studio has previously worked on and launched two other games, a card game based on the Three Kingdoms called Bai Jiang Xing, 
and a free-to-play strategy mobile game known as Art of War Red Tides, which won Game Science a handful of accolades back in 2017. Expect Black Myth Wukong to release sometime in the summer of 2024. Alone in the Dark. It's your family who thinks you should go rather than something you've decided on your own. I'm sure it's a fine institution, but that place always felt inevitable to me. This reboot of the classic horror franchise was originally another title crammed into the busy period of launches in October 2023. However, publisher THQ Nordic released a surprisingly honest statement to explain the game's delay, specifically citing the big releases that are Alan Wake 2 and Marvel's Spider-Man 2. THQ Nordic has shown quite a bit of confidence in this new take on Alone in the Dark 2. Developer Pieces Interactive seems to be pulling inspiration from new survival horror games like the Resident Evil remakes. On top of that, you have two notable actors, Jodie Comer and David Harbour, as the two playable characters. Alone in the Dark hasn't been around since 2015's disastrous Illumination and 2008's equally catastrophic reboot, so we'll see if the IP is ready to bang down our doors when it launches January 16th, 2024. Real or not, something is definitely corrupting the mind of Jeremy Hartman. Something very, very dangerous. Little Nightmares 3. The Little Nightmares IP is in an interesting situation, especially with this third entry. Tarsier Studios, the original developers of the first two games, were bought by Embracer Group back in 2019, yet Bandai Namco Entertainment owns the Little Nightmares IP. So who is behind this one for the development side? Well, it's Supermassive Games, the studio behind Until Dawn and the Dark Pictures Anthology. Oh, On top of that, the team had worked on Little Nightmares when it came to porting the second game to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series XS. That said, the franchise isn't totally foreign to Supermassive, and we'll be able to see what their direction is sometime in 2024. Huh. Star Wars Outlaws Ubisoft has seen itself in some troubling headlines for the past year between misconduct from executives, canceling a wide assortment of projects, experiencing a high turnover of developers, and Skull and Bones just never seeing the light of day. However, eyes seem to be on their Star Wars project, and for good reason. Star Wars Outlaws is departing from the typical Jedi vs. Sith debacle and allowing you to step into the shoes of an outlaw in between the events of Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. With strong showings from both press and fans, Star Wars Outlaws okay. could be a big blowout for Ubisoft when it launches sometime in 2024. Rise of the Ronin Team Ninja has kept themselves rather busy between Neo, the Ninja Gaiden remasters, and Wo Long Fallen Dynasty. The studio isn't letting up either with this exclusive. Rise of the Ronin is the Dead or Alive studio's latest game, and they are developing it alongside Sony's own European studio, XDev, which typically supports PlayStation projects both first and third party in deals like this. If you're into Souls-like games, then maybe this game will be right up your alley. As far as how much it differs from others outside of aesthetics, well, we'll have to wait and see sometime next year. Angel Falls, I we got give an you Christmas. Your time has come. Tekken 8. The fighting game community is going to see a roaring kickoff to their year with Tekken 8 launching January 26th, 2024. Whereas Tekken 7 allowed players to play footsies a little too much, Tekken 8 is fixing to encourage players to go all out. With the all new heat mechanics, Bandai Namco has made it clear that if you want to be the King of Iron Fist champion, you are going to have to man up and get in your opponent's face. 
plus 32 characters will fill up the base roster, so even if your favorite fighter didn't make the cut, we have a feeling Tekken 8 will get just as long of a post-launch support cycle as Tekken 7 did. Get ready for the next battle! Dragon's Dogma 2 Now, we know Wolverine didn't so make the cut because... Some of these games I've never heard of until this video. But I mean, some of these games I do wish was on the Xbox or coming to Xbox. You know how cool would that be? I would definitely play some of these games. Because, as we said earlier, there is no confirmed release window. So why does Dragon's Dogma 2 get a pass? Well, Capcom has shown the game quite a lot recently. Though the publisher hasn't directly confirmed a 2024 release, we're willing to bet on this one. Dragon's Dogma has seen a gradually growing fanbase over the past decade, and Capcom might want to make this their big holiday release for next year. In other words, we have a hunch that the game is just about finished, and we'll anticipate it'll come out September or October 2024. Sure. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The sky, I don't like it. Ready to fire, sir. Welcome to the New World Order. Okay, so it's bragging time. Back in March 2023, we published a video on our 10 most anticipated PlayStation games of 2023. While we did include Rebirth on that list, we said to everybody, quote, don't be surprised if it gets pushed to 2024, end quote. Lo and behold, it didn't take much to deduce that the delay was going to happen. However, we are so glad that we at least have a firm release date on the horizon. Cloud, Tifa, and the rest of the gang will return for a second act when Final Fantasy VII Rebirth launches as a PlayStation 5 exclusive on February 28th, 2024. If you haven't played 2020's Final Fantasy VII Remake, the Integrade DLC, huh. or Crisis Core, Shit. you got some homework to do. I mean, and that's exactly what I'm gonna go really do good. right now. See ya. But I killed her. So, who is she? Check out these other great clips from Mo. Like, I mean, a lot, a lot of these games look pretty good, I would say. Like, I mean, if only they was on Xbox, I would play some of these. But, I mean, definitely, definitely sounds good. I'm excited. Hopefully, which, I mean, I think for some of these games, I might actually watch a couple of YouTubers play them or stream. Maybe Jack, stuff the guy will play them. Maybe a couple of other people that I watch will play them. So, if they do, I'll probably give them a watch. But, I mean, other than that... <clears throat> Other than that, that's going to do it for this video. I got another video I got to do. Then I got to turn around and live stream for two hours for the another episode of Gotham Knights. That's going to be fun. I'm excited. It's been a minute since I played Gotham Knights. Uh, I got some stuff. So, we're we going to we gonna just chill, relax, and play some Gotham Knights. It's going to be fun. So, let me know if you guys did enjoy all that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys do subscribe, turn on post notifications. I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, be on the lookout for the channel. I should have uh, some more Gotham Knights videos uh, dropping soon. Hopefully. I'm going to get... Let's see, today's what? Tuesday, right? I do believe. Yeah, today's Tuesday, so I'm going to get one today, and then Thursday, I'm going to get another one Thursday and Friday. So, I should have, like, three three uh, Gotham Knights, like, videos ready to drop, and they'll be, like, two hours long. So, be on the lookout for that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Positivity is key. Motivation is key. Happiness is key. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys stay safe. Watch out for each other. I'll see you guys in the next video.